You never think your child will grow up to be an addict. Uh, that's somebody else's child. That's someone else's family. It's, it's not yours. My name is Donna, and um, my son is a heroin addict. Baseball was his real talent. One day, he um, uh, snapped his elbow pitching. Uh, he was somewhere around the age of 13, and he needed what's called Tommy John surgery. He was never the same after that surgery. Make sure you take your pain meds, stay in front of the pain, and that's, that's what we tell people, and that's what we push, and we give these drugs not knowing that we might be next. It's become an epidemic in this nation. We've, we've just handed these out without any forethought to what it can do to people's lives, and now that we're there, what are we gonna do about it? How do we fix it? The core project stands for Carolina's opioid reduction effort. The more that we talk to people in the community about this project, the more that we realize what an epidemic it is and that it's rampant and that it's something that we need to address and we need to address it now. Yeah, opioids have become an overwhelming uh, issue for our country. It's become one of the largest reasons for accidental death in the country. It's exceeding gunshots, it's, it's exceeding car wrecks. Uh, it's over 35,000 deaths from overdose per year. Uh, we also know that over half a million visits to the emergency departments are for overdose, so this is a big problem. So the goal of the CORE project is not just to raise awareness of the opioid crisis, but it's also to find solutions. When patients come to Ortho Carolina, they need and frankly they deserve to have options and alternatives to the typical opioid medications so they can recover from a surgery not only comfortably but also safely and without the consequences of being on strongly addictive medications. We recently completed a pilot study at the Ortho Carolina Shoulder and Elbow Center where we looked at patients recovering from shoulder replacement surgery and we compared a group of patients they were treated with the typical opioid medications to a group of patients that were treated with an opioid-free pain management strategy. And what we found is the patients in the opioid-free group actually had less discomfort and higher satisfaction when recovering from surgery. As a nonprofit committed to improving orthopedic lives, this is why Ortho Carolina Research Institute exists. We're not gonna settle for the status quo. We're always looking for ways to research and improve patient care both now and in the future. We are now gonna launch a group-wide, multi-specialty study that's gonna look at some of the most commonly performed orthopedic operations. And we're gonna investigate pain management strategies that can minimize or even eliminate the use of opioid medications as patients recover from surgery. The physicians at Ortho Carolina couldn't be more excited about this opportunity and this project. We think this study has the potential to be absolutely groundbreaking and we think that it could pave the way for future patients here at Ortho Carolina, but also around the region and country to help make meaningful change in the way they recover from surgery, to minimize opioid medications, to improve their comfort, while also maintaining their safety as they recover from surgery. To do good clinical research, you need to have physicians that are committed and passionate in the topic. You have to have patients willing to participate, and you have to have an efficient, Research Institute, and with only those three things can you do really groundbreaking research. There is research that's being done to try to counter this problem uh, so that we can make an impact on the front end instead of trying to fix people's lives in reverse, that we prevent their lives going in this direction. Through the evidence of research, we hope to show the medical community and patients that there are other alternatives for pain management than just opioids. And that's why we're so excited about the CORE project and the impact it could make. Together, we can start the prevention.